So in this video, I wanted to talk about breaking out of your comfort zone and you know, trying to appreciate yourself more. If you're like me and a lot of other people, photographer or not, I hate seeing pictures of myself. No matter what the angle or the side is, once in a while I'll be like, okay, this is decent, but I still hate it, but not as much. But otherwise, I just hate seeing photos of me, particularly my face. And that's nothing to do with the picture being bad or the photographer being bad, or really even me being bad in the picture. I think it's just a weird psychological thing where seeing a picture of myself just automatically triggers a negative reaction. So when my friend Judy asked me and Jamie to do a FaceTime photo shoot, I thought it would be a great idea for me to work on this. Judy's an old friend of mine who I've shot photos of in the past. In fact, she's one of the first people I reached out to when I started first taking portraits years ago. Uh, we didn't know each other at all and we just decided to work together and now we're pretty good friends. Check out her channel Intentionalista here. She's a lifestyle vlogger with an emphasis on sustainability and self-care. Uh, if you like DIY projects that are good for the environment too, uh, definitely give her a sub. Originally when she asked me about doing the shoot, I assumed she was just talking about shooting her because to be honest, every year we end up doing photos for her. But it ended up being that she actually wanted to switch things up. And if you're not familiar with the whole FaceTime photo shoot deal, um, it's just a thing that got really popular during the pandemic uh, by people like Bella Hadid, who did a FaceTime photo shoot for Vogue. Homeboys getting that like, get it. I won't lie, I really do hate photos of myself, but I was low-key kind of excited to actually dress up for once. Because of the pandemic, I haven't really had a chance to dress nicely. Uh, nicer other than work clothes anyway. <laughs> I went for more of a streetwear style look, but that's primarily because uh, that's the way my wardrobe leans. But I tried to make sure everything I wore was either thrifted or from an affordable store just to stick with Judy's uh, sustainable theme. I won't go into details about that because that's not really what this video is about. Also, unfortunately, there's no audio from the screen recording. I'm still learning how to do this, but to be honest, uh, as much as I hate photos of myself, Judy hates hearing her own voice, so it worked out. Luckily, the whole setup was uh, easy for us because I have everything. Um, like a backdrop and an interesting bench. Jamie is always just a complete natural at posing. Um, you could just not say anything and she would just get like a million poses one after the other. Oh my god, but my whole camera roll is gonna be Jamie. <laughs> oh my god. So good. Ooh, I'm just like, hit me up more. Me, on the other hand, uh, I think the hardest part for me was just trying to relax and pose naturally. I probably should have done some research and looked up some poses before the shoot, but I thought I could pull it off. Nope. I don't know how many times I said, I don't know what to do. Note to self, when doing something new, try doing at least the minimum amount of research to uh, make it a little easier on your friend. Of course, Judy never complained. Um, I'm sure she was too busy laughing, as she does. Check out this, I'm a male fashion influencer pose. All in all, it was really fun, and um, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I was able to push the limits of what I'm willing to do, and I'm glad I was able to fight back my insecurities a bit. I know that sounds kind of extreme, but uh, if it wasn't for Judy taking the pics, I don't think I would ever seek to do this kind of shoot myself. It also really opened my eyes to what a subject or model might be feeling during a shoot, what kind of questions might be going through their head, you know, should I do this, should I do that, and also what could actually help them to feel more comfortable while shooting. So, lesson for the day. Staying in your lane of comfortability, even though you might be concentrating on perfecting your technique on that particular niche, could potentially be limiting your growth. Outside perspectives, even in other creative outlets, can sometimes provide you that spark that you've been looking for in your usual type of work. For example, as a photographer, you might try your hand at freehand acrylic painting just to see how different color combinations work together, and then use that in your editing. Or maybe you're an animator, so you take photo and video in the real world to see how real world lighting affects subjects. One time I could think of for me was uh, when I worked with a fitness model, Nat McKay, 
uh, to take some creative portraits and to be part of a video project I was doing in downtown LA. Um, I'm not exactly a gym guy, I don't know much about the extreme fitness life and she had never done those kind of photos before either. She was always used to doing like fitness photos. Um, but we both wanted to try something different and for me it was directing someone who I had never met before and you know, was brand new to the, this kind of portraiture shoot and for her it was you know, learning how to pose in different locations than she had been in before and also a little bit of acting in between and it turned out pretty great honestly. Uh, we both ended up with some cool additions to our portfolios. So try something a little different. Get out of your clam or turtle shell and learn to believe in yourself a little bit. It's okay to feel extremely nervous or even scared. I mean, that's completely natural, especially around people that you respect or whose opinions you hold pretty high. But also understand that a big part of being scared or nervous is um, trying to hide the fact that you are scared or nervous. If you're honest with the people you're working with and yourself about being nervous, it kind of takes a big chunk of that feeling away. And the more at ease you are at doing something new, the better chance you have to understand it and maybe even enjoy it. So appreciate yourself, be yourself, and always aim to be a little bit better.